Well, the storm's strength also ripped off the roof of a Kettering apartment building, forcing rescue crews to evacuate. This happened at the Wood Oak Apartments just south of Dorothy Lane in Kettering. Jordan Burgess continues our live team coverage with a look at the damage left behind. Jordan? Right now, the roof that was once over people's heads here is hanging from their tree. Pieces of it are scattered all along the ground here. In fact, some people have compared this to a war zone. And if you take a look at it, you may think that, but that's not entirely accurate because the people living here had no defense against the winds that ripped apart their lives. This was more like a massacre carried out by Mother Nature. We heard what sounded a lot like a freight train noise um, as it's going over tracks, the thump, the thump. That terrifying sound is trumped only by the terrible sight of the destruction left behind here. Pretty, pretty bad. I mean, real bad. Where you could once look up at the ceiling, now there's only sunshine. Pieces of the roof hang from the building like they were put there to dry. Some of the debris smashed into cars and even a nearby house. And I was completely shocked. I had no idea that it was even going on. I was getting ready for bed at the time. One woman came home from work to find her apartment in ruins. On most nights, she would have been asleep when the storm hit. Everything was on top of my bed where I would have been laying. But that fortunate bit of timing is the only thing she can take away from this storm. All my things were destroyed. Um, and I've got my clothes on my back. Now a sort of sad silence is settled over this apartment complex as the people who lived here wait for a chance to go back inside and see what's left of their shattered stuff. Try to salvage what we can. And as you can see here, a busy, busy day right now as repairs have already gotten underway here at the Wood Oak Apartments. But I talked with somebody who lives here and they told me that they've heard that tomorrow will be the soonest they might be able to get back inside this place and be able to get some of their stuff back. So the storm, far from over for those people. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News on your side.